And here in Warner Springs, we are about 20 miles away from where the Nixon fire started. Uh, you can actually see the smoke here behind me, so it is going to be another hot and dry day, and the terrain is a challenge for firefighters. When we get uh, a wind pushing on a fire like this, how, as it was pushing it to the east, it, it can create some very explosive uh, opportunities for growth for the fire. Um, which can be devastating. The Nixon fire burning in South Riverside County, the smoke billowing into the air for miles. Here's a time lapse video posted on social media by Alert California, showing how the fire grew yesterday afternoon into yesterday evening. The fire started in Iguanga, a rural area near the border between Riverside and San Diego County. You're on alert all the time. Joe Carstensen lives in Ranchita. He moved there just two months before the Pines fire broke out in 2002, which scorched more than 60. 2,000 acres. A lot of people lost houses. We lost our garage, our barn, lost everything but the house. Today, crews spent the day trying to get a containment line around the Nixon fire. Cal Fire Public Information Officer Rob Rosine says the steep terrain coupled with the hot and dry weather makes it difficult. There's some, some steep areas that our firefighters will have to get into to uh, combat this fire and build that containment line. Um, honestly, it's just, it's a lot of uh, a lot of hard uh, Hard work for our firefighters, uh, getting in there with hand tools to create this line. Uh, we'll bring the dozers in where it's possible to do so to try to ease that burden. Um, but it's still, it's going to be a hard work uh, trying to put a uh, line around this fire. So far, 1,000 structures have been evacuated and 1,000 more are under evacuation warnings. Carstensen says his advice is this. Just got to be on alert when you see the smoke and stuff like that. You got to find out where it is, how close it is to you, and, and just be ready to evacuate if you have to and have things packed up and ready. And at this point, we don't know what caused the Nixon fire. Uh, Cal Fire says uh, the cause of the fire remains under investigation. Reporting from Warner Springs, Kelly Hassett, CBS 8.